Programming patterns, what are they and why would you bother using them? Well, the first real goal when you're getting started with game development is to get something, anything working. After that, it's all about being able to create projects that don't break every time a chunk of code is changed or a new mechanic is added. This is a challenge to accomplish because all too often we focus on creating the features and mechanics before focusing on the framework or the architecture that those features are built on. And sure, it works for a while, but at some point, the weight of all those features breaks the underlying structure, and that makes for a buggy project, or worse, an abandoned project. And that's where programming patterns can help. They can help to build a strong underlying structure that our data and creative game mechanics can stand on. And so that's what this series of videos will focus on. We'll look at a handful of patterns that can be useful in your projects, all of which will work with C Sharp, and the vast majority will work with Bolt 2. Also, there are a few better ways to learn something than to teach that something. So this series is as much about sharing information as a way to gain understanding of the topics myself. If that sounds useful, check out the Programming Patterns playlist or the first video in the series. I think I smiled like a moron. All right, here we go. So let's try not to stare directly at the camera because it's a little creepy when you do it just like that. Programming patterns, what are they and why would you bother using them? Well, I should be in the right window, but we don't get that noise. That would be a help. <clears throat>